Hey everybody, it's Kim from Mo Scrap, and today it is my pleasure once again to share the tags and ATCs with you that I received from my swap on paperphenomenon.ning. Before I do that though, I was going to let everyone know that um, I opened a swap for next month for the signups and everything. And I had no one sign up, but I had a lot of comments about, you know, I wish I could, but I can't because of vacation. Um, I need a break. I need to regroup. The kids are out of school. Just, you know, a lot of stuff going on, which is completely understandable. So I thought, you know, this would be a good opportunity to take a break myself. So um, for the next couple of months, I'm not going to do any swaps on paper phenomenon as far as hosting and um but we'll we'll start back up in september so i'll probably put a little note on there as well in case some people don't see this video but i know that the people who participate watch the videos so i want to let y'all know um that you know i didn't disappear or anything we're just going to take a little hiatus and have a um a little break time while the kids are out of school and everybody's taking vacations and stuff. So, um, with that said, on to the swaps. We I did uh, something a little different this time. We had two themes. It was Father's Day and it was graduation. Plus, we had the tags and the ATCs. Well, no one signed up for the graduation ATC. So, I'm going to share the Father's Day tags, the Father Day Father's Day ATCs and the graduation tags so that was the three groups that ended up forming from the signups so first off um, I'll show the, share the Father's Day tags if you follow my blog which is www.mostscrap.com um, you've already seen my ATC and all the details are on there I did a little crackling some burlap some ball chain, some buttons and stuff, but um, on my blog you'll see, you know, all the details and everything. So this is the Father's Day tag that I will be sending out. The next one is by May, and May is a new swapper. She hasn't swapped with me before, and her tag is gorgeous. Check this out, you guys. Um, I think she used the Tim Holtz because the shape, you know, I always say that though. And then she has some embossing and some stitching here. And um, she used the tag paper, like the license tag, license plate, I guess. And um, some ribbon. And it's like a little gear around the um, hole for the ribbon up here. That's so cool. See that detail on the embossing paper? And then on the back, she has this little pocket, and her information is um, wondermomcrafts.blogspot.com. So, May, thank you so much. Awesome tag. She's also in the um, graduation tag, so you'll hear her name again. So, that one was for May. And then next, we had Tamara. And here's Tamara. She used car corrugated cardboard, which I thought was so cool. Gives it that rusted look. And then some mini gears that um, she painted gold. A little key right here that says life. And I love a Dodge ticket. And then she like crinkled it. This, it, this is like been Mod Podge or something because it's so stiff. And, um, the, um, but it's so cool. And, um, I won't read it to you, but I'll I'll have more details on my blog and stuff. And then some uh, twine up here instead of ribbon. So I thought that was so cool. It's it hard for me to like do guy stuff when I'm scrapbooking. But um, I think I'm getting better at it. And I think this is a very good example of how to like rough it up. Um, and the last one is from Debbie. And here's Debbie's tag. It's so cute. It's like the um, like a shirt with buttons going down the side. 
and here's the pocket for the shirt and then in the pocket for the shirt it says my dad I thought that was so flipping cute and then there's some ribbon up here too but I thought that was so cool it's like a little shirt I love that and then oh here's her information right here it's Debbie Johnson and then hers is Debbie Duddles dot blogspot dot com so that's Debbie's info if you'd like to check her out so those are the four tags I got for the Father's Day tag swap um, the graduation tag swap again on my blog I show the details of how I made mine and um, mine just says hats off with a mortarboard cap I use some seam binding at the top that I sprayed with water and crinkled and then I just used my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to staple it on there so that's mine and then May did hers it's kinda in the same fashion as she did the world's best dad but this one says class of and then down here it says 2011 and she's got some lovely embossed paper down there stitching again and then I love these extra wide eyelets some pretty ribbon up here and then the pocket on back and her information again so I thought that was cool that's that's a um, almost like a layout on a tag I feel like because the different papers and stuff <laughs> it's kind of like a 12 by 12 layout condensed down and then the next graduation tag was by Debbie again and here's hers love this paper I wish I knew where she got it because you can tell it says dream success diploma cap uh, what else is in there just different graduation oh learn is up there and then her, her ribbon says congratulations going across there and she's got this pretty sequence cap right there cool thread I would never think to use like a thread for the ribbon but I thought that was so cool and then if you notice her flower right here this paper looks like money like five dollar bills there's a ten dollar bill there's a twenty dollar bill and it has a button in the middle I thought that was so flipping cute because everybody knows you give money at graduation right <laughs> So that's Debbie's tag. Thank you so much. I, I know exactly what I'm going to use mine for already. Then, let's see. Okay, that was the three for the graduation tags. Then we had the Father's Day ATCs. Unfortunately, on that group, there was three people and one dropped out. So it's just me and Tamara. So Tamara, this is the um, Father's Day ATC I made. And what I did was just use a piece of uh, chipboard and stamped it with some vintage photo ink with a wood grain stamp hopefully that's picking up yeah there you go and then I used the book plate from the Tim Holtz die to make this little book plate accented it with black ink and then use a piece of craft cardstock underneath it and stamped dad right there and then for the little insert where you can put your pictures and stuff if you want to I found that this is kind of like a matchbook and I found this vintage photo online it says Atkin Oil Company but I want you to notice it said the phone number was 88 this was an actual ad of, out of an old magazine and the phone number was 88 that blows my mind we have to have what 10 digits now so that just tucks down in there and I use some uh, little mini brads to hold the book plate onto the chipboard so and my info is on the back and everything so that's the uh, Father's Day ATC that I made so the only other Father's Day ATC was by Tamara and this is her and she used corrugated cardboard again she used this little image from um, Graphic 45 and then I believe this is stamped on the cardboard 
and it's like oh it says passenger coupon so it's like a ticket so I thought that was really cool it's simple but it's got an elegance about it I think and then um, her information is on the back Tamara's creative florals of Charleston dot com and there's her little hello from South Carolina stamp on there so thank you to May, Tamara, and Debbie for participating and like I said we're going to take a little break for the summer and um, if you haven't checked out paperphenomenon.ning please do so there's other swaps going on I'm not the only pe person hosting over there there's uh, stick pin swaps and a couple of others and um, I will see y'all on the next video thanks for watching bye Y'all thought I was finished, but I'm not. I must forget something. I had a little goodie um, in one of the packages, so I had to share that. Look at these cute little flowers I got. I almost forgot, but I didn't. So May, who I mentioned before that was, um, this is the first time swapping with me, sent me these flowers. So I want to say thank you so much, May. I appreciate it. And they are gorgeous. I probably, they're so dimensional, I probably put them on a box or something. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stash them away for now and then um, pull them out and put them on a project later. So thank you so much, May. Alright, I think I'm done for real this time. Bye, y'all.